Today we're going to discuss how to pick the best carpet for high traffic areas. So when it comes to carpet choices, there's a lot of fibers to choose from, but we're going to focus on the most common. That's polyester. Second, there's smart strand and third, there's nylon. Each one of those fibers have their own characteristics and are going to help you decide which one's going to be right for you. But when it comes to carpets performing the best in high traffic areas, what do we mean by high traffic areas? We mean areas like stairs, hallways, or multi-common room with a kitchen right behind where the sofa or the armchair and you're constantly getting up from that chair and going to the kitchen, that's going to be a high traffic area. Carpets that don't perform well in high traffic areas are going to be polyester. Polyester is a great carpet, it's a great fiber, it's easy to clean, the colors are awesome. The problem with that fiber is that it's a little weak. So when we make carpets, we take the fibers, and we take hundreds of them, and we twist them together to make a yarn. Then we use a heat set process to hold those yarns together. So what happens is when you step on those yarns that are stitched together in a carpet, they have a tendency to lay down and then stand back up. Over time, polyester yarns are weak and they get tired and they go, I don't want to stand up anymore. So what we do is we'll go and vacuum over top of those yarns that spruces them back up and they're standing up again, but then immediately you start walking over and they're laying back down. So hence, polyester is not necessarily the best fiber for high traffic areas. The second carpet fiber that we're going to talk about is a smart strand fiber from Mohawk. So smart strand is right in between polyester and nylon in its quality and its strength. Again, the smart strand is going to be twisted together and heat set and it's going to want to hold that heat set for longer. The reality we have to keep in mind is that all carpets eventually are going to mat down. Our goal when trying to choose a carpet is choose one that's going to stay up and standing the longest. The last fiber to cover is nylon. Nylon's been around a long time. Nylon is durable. Nylon's not nearly as soft as polyester and smart strand, but nylon tends, once those yarns are twisted together and heat set, it tends to hold that heat set better for longer. And that's what we're looking for when we're purchasing a carpet that's going to withstand high traffic. So the type of carpets that are going to withstand matting down the best is going to be a looped carpet, or some people call it a Berber carpet, or a mix of a cut fiber and a loop. Either one of those are gonna hold up the best to high traffic. So some of the carpets to avoid, whether it be a polyester, a nylon, or a smart strand from Mohawk, are gonna be a plush carpet. A plush carpet means that the fibers are longer and taller, and the stitch or the gauge is a little farther apart. So hence, they're more susceptible to laying down and then necess not necessarily bouncing back up. So right here, I have what I would consider a plush carpet. These fibers are loose and the longer you walk on them, the sooner it's going to mat down over time. So this NYX carpet is what we call a cut pile loop mix. This type of carpet, and this is a nylon by the way, this type of carpet is going to resist matting like crazy for many reasons. One, it's got a low profile, so it's not standing up very high. It's got a combination of a loop and a cut pile, and all of that combined together, nylon, cut pile, and loops, prevent the matting down. But like I said before, every carpet's going to mat down. It's just a matter of when. And what we want is the best value. And the best value is going to be a nylon that's going to take many more years to mat down in those high traffic areas. So one exception I'm going to make in my suggestions to trying to find a fiber in a carpet that's not going to mat down in high traffic areas is a carpet like this. This is a polyester fiber. However, it does have the combinations I just mentioned a minute ago, which has the looped 
and the cut pile mix and it's got a low profile. Those combinations are going to help this resist matting for a long time. Another aspect about this carpet is the stitch or the gauge is a lot closer together for these yarns and so they can kind of support each other uh, when you're walking on them and prevent matting down. Thanks for your time. If you have any questions, please reach out to any one of our Boulevard Home flooring experts. Have a great day.